Papers gives you as much information on your articles as possible by importing metadata. Although Papers does this automatically, sometimes a PDF requires a little help. Let's take a look at how we can match metadata to our articles. We will be adding some PDFs to our library by dragging and dropping them directly into Papers. Notice how this first article does not have much informative metadata contained within the PDF. When we click Edit, Papers recognizes there is missing metadata by displaying a Match button. When clicking it, you will see a preview window of the article as well as a search window. Using the Command key, you can select text in the PDF and a new window shows up automatically where you can select which information you are using for the search. This article has a considerable amount of metadata included in a PDF. As you can see, when we click Edit, now we do not see a Match button. The metadata is already complete. We can still add the journal cover by visiting the journal's website. To drag and drop the journal cover into the inspector window, we need to be in Edit mode. Let's add another article and look at another way we can match. Select Papers from the menu and Match to Repository. You can adjust the size of the search and preview windows by dragging it up and down. Click on Match to import the remaining metadata. Now we'll import a book chapter. It already contains a lot of metadata, including that it is part of a book but we can get even more information. As an example, we will go to the publisher's website and we will import the citation that includes the abstract. Papers asks you if you would like to use the citation file to update the metadata. You'll notice the title changed to the chapter title instead of the book title. We can add the book cover by dragging and dropping, or we can double-click on the image and add it from anywhere on our hard drive. Papers recognizes this file is part of a book and asks for confirmation of whether this is correct. It is, so we can click on Yes. For the next PDF, we will use Match to Repository again from the Papers menu. Keep in mind, you can use the toggle buttons to tell Papers which repositories to use to match your data. You'll notice Papers automatically added the DOI for the PDF and found one match. To illustrate some other ways we can match the metadata, we added the same PDF again. Now we'll click on No in response to Papers' request of whether the automatically retrieved metadata is correct. It was correct, but we will add more. Let's see what happens if we reset all metadata and have a blank inspector window. Essentially, we're starting from scratch as if this PDF did not contain any data to begin with and Papers was unable to match it. Selecting only the first author returns a number of results, as expected. Selecting just the title returns only one paper. We could match it right now, but let's see what happens if we select a combination of all three authors. This also returns just one result, and it's the correct one. So we can click on Match and get all the metadata we're looking for. Now you've seen a few different ways to match your papers and some of the information you can use to do so. Enjoy using papers!